in the wind he's getting some <laughs> this is going to be a prime opportunity all right hey everybody we got a pretty exciting little road trip planned today we are going to take a ride down to gladstone michigan to the antique relic rider snowmobile show and this show is going to be a little different than the ones i've seen in the past down there uh, i heard rumor that they're going to do a little drag racing with the vintage sleds and a little circle track racing down there we don't have much snow this year, so they might have to cut things a little short, but I'm kind of excited to see these old girls running and doing what they do best. So let's take a ride to Rapid River, Michigan, go see the Antique Relic Riders, and uh, we'll see you there. Rapid River. As you can see, there's a lot of sleds behind me. A lot of cool stuff here today. So, we're gonna take a walk through and show you what's what. Maybe you can meet some nice folks. Some of these guys will probably start their machines for you. Just want to point out there's some back at the main building and across the other parking lot as well. So, let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. Purrs like a kitten. Mark Caswell. I'm one of the founding members of the Rapid River Relic Riders. Uh, we've been doing this for 18 years now, coming up, and this by far it looks to be the best one yet. Uh, we had a decent ride yesterday, but the show aspect of it I think is turning out really well. You can take a look around and see anything you want. We do this every year the same weekend. A lot of the proceeds, the majority of the proceeds that we take, and all go back to the community. 
because the community's here supporting us. We support the community in all different kinds of fundraisers. The club is open to anybody, uh, like even on the rides and in the shows, obviously you'll see some newer stuff here. We, we welcome anything that was related to the sport. We do this because this is what we grew up with, you know, the camaraderie, the stories. I love, I love listening to the stories up and down there. Everybody walks by, oh, I had one like that, or my grandpa had one like that, or whatever, you know. And you listen to the stories and you get to talk to people, not only that, but you get to find a few sleds too. That works too, you know. Very short story is I remember my dad saying, I used to ride that snowmobile and now it's an antique. And I find myself walking around here today saying, I used to ride that sled and I'm thinking in my head, oh my lord, that's an antique. What does that say about me? Yeah. The, the rides are fun, <laughs> the shows are fun, and not to mention that you, you get to meet a lot of fantastic people. Well, hey, welcome to the show, little guy. Her first show. Oh, I'm Man, talk about a sled show. We hope you guys enjoy getting to see all the rare and, frankly, confusing machines on display this year. But we still have the main event to get to, and that's coming up right now. Well, we're going to go ahead and just take a look here. we got the race coming up in about 30 minutes. The guys are starting to turn their engines over. Oh, speaking of which. These ones are a little more quiet than some of the others, but it's still pretty freaking cool to see around it. we head over there, Cameron? We should head over there. You're I taking this, Cal? Yeah. This was all homemade. Just want to point that out. they used to. Racing fans, it is almost time to get this hoot nanny underway. While waiting for all of our contestants to arrive at the lineup, we take a brief moment to assess the conditions of the track and immediately determine that we should have invested in 10,000 refrigerator units and left the doors open on all of them to cool things off because the snow, much like the chance the Lions had at winning the Super Bowl this year, is pretty much completely gone. After more deliberation, it was determined there would be two phases to this challenge with some slight alterations to the original plan, but with similar rules for both heats. Each sled is in a class of their own, helmets are optional, and riders are responsible for finding an opponent with specs close enough to their sled to make it as fair a competition as possible. However, when fighting for the honor of claiming the last pasty in the fridge before Grandma gets home, cheating is heavily encouraged. With that out of the way, let's get this half-melted snowball rolling. First up, the drag races.
to the rise. Give her! Who won? The Johnson or the Johnson? Johnson won that one. All right, with the first section of this showdown out of the way, it is time to move on to the second and final half of this endurance challenge, that being the oval race. With track conditions worsening by the second, it was decided to take the originally planned two-lap race and cut it in half. The earlier stated rules still apply here, and everyone is responsible for finding a dance partner, as this race will commence in pairs only. And as the second sacred pre-race rider meeting concluded, the monumental task of riding in a circle fell to our brave contestants. Let's begin. the turn. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, he found the well. Push.
fun time with the final lap under and literally in everyone's drive belt the great relic riders race was over all joking aside this was an absolute blast to see in person and i can safely say this is going to be one of our yearly stops going forward and who knows we may just have a few sleds of our own to throw into the fray next year nonetheless i want to give a huge thank you to all the riders and officials who showed up for this event as it's purely on a volunteer basis at the end of the day we are all here because we share a deep passion for these machines, and it was a privilege to get to see them operating at peak function. If you're ever in Rapid River at the time of this event, I'd highly recommend stopping by. It is well worth the effort. Well, guys, that's going to wrap up the video for today. We saw quite a lot of unique, interesting, and rare sleds, and I don't know. But it was a fun time out here today. The snow is starting to disappear. It's kind of starting to look like soup out here. so. Fingers crossed that we're gonna get hit with another snowstorm before too long, because we got a couple of rides we gotta take and show you guys some more of what it looks like up here in the UP when the snow is actually on the ground. So, that being said, hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. See you next week.